hello everyone and welcome to something I've been playing a the Raid Odyssey. Huh. Gotta start with a good intro, cause that's how we roll. 1998. Cycler, fly on Eastern Geyser and build Razor. Acknowledge Grizzly 1. Turret 2, take up position next to turret 1 at Western Entrance. The funny thing that yes, Battlezone used to be an arcade game, like the first few seconds. Grizzly 1, radar arrays detect an unidentified craft approaching from the northern canyon. Some people claim that it actually was, uh, you know, created by the military in order to recruit people and all, right? Personally, I, w I really wish it was true. And if it was, I'd kick ass this game, and hey, I would love it. I detect a commie. Destroy him. Immediately, we have a massive Soviet force approaching. I'm on my way. There was something can pick up the pieces later on. Like, well, coming in fast. Yeah, no shit. Range of one, let's move to intercept. Mm. <laughs> you have a, some very shitty gun tower location, I say. But the gun tower over there doesn't even work. What a useless piece of shit. Now the base is falling apart. I'm in trouble. Well, you got no ammo. Got <coughs> hmm. Never seen someone like that use this like that. But yeah. I don't know what this not ready is, but whatever. Anyways, welcome everyone to Battlezone. Not Battlezone Comic Commander. It's actually Battle Zone 1. From 1998, based itself in the very Cold War that we're that we're gonna start. Off, I mean, we're gonna go on to. Now, the funny thing is, I mean, we're gonna have to start with a combat exercise because oh, for the fuck, fuck. Okay, there we go. There we go. The playground, archives, combat. There we go. Combat driving. Perfect. At the NSDF M687 MBT tank. This episode on first one might just be all the let's say the training one because hey one day I'll not. <coughs> Besides, you know it's something I don't really want to stretch. Want to stretch. Welcome to the moon, on. Commander. I'm going to walk you through combat training. The general wants all NSDF command posts prepared to defend themselves. The future right here. of our country depends on our success here in space. This Get into our experimental scout tank. Let's go for a test drive through the pylons ahead. Yes, yes. Press uh, O oh, to review fuck. your current objectives. Shut up! Also, I did install some, some sound mods in order to... to get this, uh, you know, give a bit of a, a charm to it. But I didn't notice it through it. It's a bit... How might I say less... A bit less... It's, it's like more... more prim... Ah, shit! It's actually more primitive than the... And Battle Zone 2 from the commander. And that's my alarm clock reminding me that it's already midnight. I have some sleeping problems as you might have noticed. But yeah. That should be stuff, you know, the Cold War though too. I couldn't believe things used to be as bad as good as they could have been. <laughs> and you know, on that I have something cringe to say. I was born in the wrong generation, so I could have been born in Previous generation could have fought in Vietnam War. Good job, Commander. You're approaching the rim of a biometal quarry. Drive over the edge and use your jump thrusters to cushion your landing. Okay. You know, to make things a bit easier, I noticed a little something. F1, F2, F3. There you go, see? Nice landing. Now, let's get you out of that crater by jumping from ledge to ledge. Yeah, yeah. Proceed to the eastern edge of the quarry and Follow the pylons out of the hole. Use your jump oh, yeah, yeah, across yeah, the ledges. I found it was much easier to do when I use this. this on, on this camera mode. It simply goes there by pressing shift and then F1, F2, F3, and F4 all combined. And with that, or the combination of these two keys, you'll probably be able to change the camera view, making some of these platforms much easier and more enjoyable too. Am I gonna make it? I don't know. Yeah, I made it.
sure this one, I'm sure I'm gonna make it bingo. As you may have noticed too, there is actually two factions on this one right now. It's just a base game right now. We're gonna pay the Red Odyssey. Good job, oh. Commander. Head for the target range. Yeah, yeah, I will. As you might have noticed too, this game might as also a bit, a bit of a DLC as well too. What's actually an expansion uh, back in the day? Uh, this is called DLC. The one I got here. Combat training. Try to use your strafe thrusters to present your enemy with a moving target. Also, remember to monitor your ammo and vehicle status with the gauges in your hut. I for fuck's sake. Good. Move on to the next turn. Combat training drawn my ass. I think shooting back at me. Doesn't do much damage, but still. I'll try to hit it with the scan key again so I can get, so I can get a better idea <coughs> for the description of it. And believe me, this game is sure is amazing. Wait, 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 wait. Good work, Commander. I'm enjoying this game a lot. Even if it's a train zone too, but you know what? I think I know what might I think I know what could be done to compensate it all too. And I'm gonna go for de defensive command. It does take off, you know, like the Okay, Commander. Today mm. we'll practice using the command interface. We've got a T7 Badger turret up ahead. The T7 is an excellent defensive weapon when deployed, but it's very vulnerable when moving. I Let's know. walk through the steps of commanding the turret. Good job, Commander. Hit for the target range. Uh, follow me. <coughs> so what do we got here? Now, let's order the turret to deploy. Open a comm channel with the turret. Good. Good job. Let's watch the turret destroy a drone. You mean that piece of shit over there? Holy shit, look at the disgusting thing. Turret deployed. Yeah, it's coming this way. If you don't mind, I'm gonna fuck it up too, but I feel like it. That's right. Come my way. You good for nothing communist piece of shit. That ends the exercise, Commander. We'll debrief at Eagle's Nest. That was pretty quick. Oh well. Alright then. And the bottom of the scavenging too. And just you know cause you guys want to want to see some for fuck's sake. Some more content too. I'm, I'm trying to squeeze in as much as I can. As much as I want to. In this do. mission, we'll introduce you to factories. <coughs> factories reprocess a material we call biometal scrap into new vehicles, weapons, <coughs> and supplies. This is a factory. We found scrap fields around the moon that probably came from meteor showers. Engineering has created scavenger units, which are like big mobile vacuum cleaners designed to gather scrap. This is a factory. The recycler exists in a deployed and mobile state. Oh, for fuck's sake. It can only build units when it is deployed over a geyser power source. This recycler is currently deployed. Press the zero key to get it to pack up. Oh. I'm ready to relocate to a geyser near a scrap field. Fine. Recycler you. here. Pack up your ass and follow me. The recycler me. is now ready to move. Use your command interface to open a comm channel with the recycler and order it to follow you to a new geyser at checkpoint one. Keep in mind that the recycler is big and slow. You may not be able to keep up. Mm. You can be quite annoying at times, I'll give you that. Where's the power? Right over here. Getting power. One of the unfortunate things about all games, they can be all right. quite... Let's open a comm channel with the recycler and order it to deploy on the geyser. I'm already one step ahead of you. Uh, if only war was like this, I couldn't listen to the army long, long time ago. Scavenger here! Oh, scavenge. I'm on it! Do your shit. Deploy the scrap display in your HUD. You'll need to press the one key to have the recycler build a scavenger. I already did it. Building complete. Scavenger here! I'm on it! Get to it, won't ya?
radar seems quite clear for now. Scavengers will gather biometal on their own. However, you will need to protect your scavengers because they don't have any weapons. Protect Enemy that scavenger. Scout. I'm gonna send a drone to attack. Get over here. Uh, there must be Democrats. Good shooting, Commander. Must be Bad a voter. Yep, it sure does. Now what do you want this time? I don't care the moon to kill communists. So, what now? Good job, Commander. We're done here. Are you, are you fucking kidding me? Alright. And then attack and destroy. Yeah, there's a playground over here too, but that one just... Eh, not really that interesting. I played a few times. Oh. Attack and destroy. Take it down to build a squid man. Blah, 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 blah. We get it. But as I was saying, the unfortunate part of all games is that some parts are un unapologetically difficult. I know. And I remember my fair share of few, some of few. Back in the day. Especially back in, in the early PS2 days when. In this exercise, Commander, we'll show you how to build and command offensive units. You may be a hotshot pilot, but rest assured you'll find comfort in numbers if you find yourself attacking enemy installations. Are you Engineering has tooled your recycler to build a wide variety of munitions. Use the command interface to order the recycler to build a scout. Mm -hmm. Select the recycler. Send the recycler to a geyser. Select the recycler. Uh. Press the one key to have your recycler build a scout. You can command a wingman just uh. like a turret, but the Don't wingman the does sun. not have to deploy in order to be effective in combat. I've put a nav beacon in the combat area. Nav beacons serve as spy cameras in the world, and you can also use them as staging points for gathering units. Hit the 4 key to access the list of active cameras. Then hit the 1 key to select oh. the first camera. Look at that. Notice the spy camera in the top right corner of your map. <coughs> Open a comm <coughs> with your wingman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Reload your wingman to the active nav beacon by hitting the ALT key. By hitting the ALT key? Oh. Yes, sir. Alright. Get on with it. Wingman will automatically engage enemy targets when they come into close proximity. Just go for it alright, goddammit. Swear to god. Hmm. Keep an eye on this soldier on here. See what it does. Notice how your wingman blinks oh. in the radar when it is under attack. This will inform you whenever one of your units is under attack. Mm -hmm. Good work. Use your scout to destroy the next drone. <sighs> Standing by. Let me at him. Fighting enemy. First off, I just want to get a, in a camera's view on this guy here. Since my objective is just to locate, just to see how he goes and all. Stop before you get into range of the enemy unit. Hit the T key to target the drone. That's what we did. Good job, Commander. Now head back to the base. Pronto. Standing by. Whoa, follow the leader. And none of it's video, back to base. Alright. <coughs> and welcome to paradise. The playground. Single player. The ultimate quake. <laughs> Don't get me started on this one. Here's exactly what the what, <coughs> what mission you have to play on now. The red arrival. Launch. Usually get the cash. Sometimes it bugs me that Armstrong and Shepard get all the credit. But we all wanted to win the Cold War. 
and we were ready to commit our lives to getting the bio metal. The military boys used all the material that had fallen to Earth, and they still needed more. Hmm. They went looking for a few cowboys to do the job, <clears throat> and in the end, they orchestrated the world's biggest cover up. They snuck a whole army into space, and not a soul knew a thing. <laughs> but now it's time. People should know why it was so important that we won the space race. People should know what happened to all those who went missing. Missing? The dead should get their honors. They should have their place in history. Because history has a way of repeating itself. Commander, we've discovered a deposit of biometal along with some strange radar signatures. Build a scavenger mm. and escort it to the biometal deposit. I'm gonna go with this cheaper tank because I feel like it. Yeah, I like this tank. Recycler here. <coughs> Construction started. Do we have no, no effect or anything? Building complete. Scavenger here. Following. What are my objectives? You can recycle the scavenger and escort the scavenger. Or some more lighter. Commander, we've discovered a deposit of biometal along with some strange radar signatures. Oh. Build a scavenger and escort it to the biometal deposit. Yeah, Grizzly yeah. One, we've got a situation. Come here, piece of Unidentified shit. Unidentified vehicles are approaching your position from the southwest. All right. Get fucked. Like everything seems to be okay. Mm. 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 Ah, shit. Commander, our instruments show that you are heavily outnumbered. Protect the scavenger and retreat to outpost 3. What do you think I'm doing, goddammit? Oh, shit, he's not gonna run right up, does he? I've been rusty. And also, that's one game that's happened quite a bit different than the other. <coughs> I hear some things around. Yep, I was right. I was fucking right. Have two. Get fucked. That's another one down. There he is. Good work. Unfortunately, we've got another scavenger out there that's being threatened by Soviet wingmen. Oh dear me. God damn it. Fuck. Oh well, doesn't really matter, does it? <coughs> or maybe it might be winged by communists, we never know. Anyway, to get your fat ass back to base. Shit. Oh no. Holy shit. I'd have accidentally dropped a mine. <coughs> and that's the shit I've gotten myself into. Come on, Kami. Come on, play. Come on, take your failed ideology to me. So I may have some way to. So I may have a hammer to break your fucking Good work, skull. Grizzly One. <laughs> We've confirmed that the hostile vehicles are of Soviet origin. They've maneuvered around Outpost 3 and yeah. are headed towards Eagle's Nest 1. <clears throat> Await further orders from NSDF Command. Shit. Oh well. That was pretty quick. Alright. <coughs> Eagle's Nest 1. Fight off attacking units. Never fight off. Earth's Moon. Okay. Seems about pretty enough.
This is General Collins, Commander. You're General just Collins. in time. The first Soviet attack has destroyed all of Eagle's Nest 1's defenses. Check your radar. We've got additional Soviet forces coming in from the southeast. I see. They're targeting the command tower and our solar arrays. Protect these structures at all costs. If we lose them, we're finished. No scrap storage. Base under attack. Yeah, if there's a recycle, but you're probably getting to make things go up attack. Bit bad, I need here. Jesus Christ, I just love flying around, don't they? You're mine too, asshole. Where are you? There you are. You're not getting away from me this time. The Soviet forces are withdrawing, Commander. It won't be long before they regroup for another attack. The NSDF recycler Montana has been called back to the base. She's a training vehicle, but she does have turret building capability. <coughs> Use her get to build turrets and set up a defensive perimeter around the base. Funny thing is, I mean, if you can build the the uh, ammo with the uh, ammo depot here. with another construction started building. That's enough for a Okay, good, good, very good. It's more than building amazing. complete. <coughs> Badger here. You're the boss. You damn right, I'm the boss. Recycler here. Construction started. Building complete. Turret deployed. Badger here. <clears throat> You're the boss. I can make myself a factory as I can, but not right now, apparently. <coughs> For whatever the reason it may be. Recycler here. For Construction started. You do know there can be never be enough turrets. And I guess we have to do the turrets by heat and metal. Badger here. Whatever. Oh, fine, Turret then. deployed. Got at least one up here, we're getting a nice... You're the boss! <coughs> hmm. Recycler here. <coughs> Construction started. Turret deployed. Building complete. Badger here. You're the boss. Something's gonna be happening sooner or later. And I know for sure. I should probably try one, probably try to do a bit better. Otherwise, you know these vehicles are so goddamn fragile and brittle. <coughs> At least you know with the civil sound mod that I still makes things well for one not more. I'm part of my hand. Oh, more handsome too, that's the that's thing. Building complete. 
Badger here. <clears throat> ah. Why does my throat does not not flow properly? <coughs> That's a bunch of bullshit, I'd say. I got this one. Yes, I suppose it did flash my eyes. You know what? Turret deployed. Badger here. You're the boss. <coughs> got a better idea. Badger here. <coughs> You're the boss. Turret deployed. Recycler here. Construction started. <coughs> Building complete. Badger here. How many more turrets does one need, right? All of the turrets. Turret That's all deployed. we need. All of the turrets. You're the boss. As for this little fella. Badger here. <coughs> You're the boss. I think we should probably take a different, uh, on different approach some things. Deploy it! <coughs> You're the boss! What the fuck are you doing? Get on with it! Turret deployed! <coughs> Got a bit of a cough. Turret yeah. deployed! It's a change of seasons. The air's getting pretty goddamn dry. Reinforcements are returning from Outpost 2. Rendezvous at the Northern Solar Array. <clears throat> Northern Solar Array. Yes, sir. We've got some offensive units closing in. A scout in the tank. <clears throat> what the hell? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. <coughs> Things a bit more easier, I suppose. Oh, look at that, a Panzer. Good aim makes a difference. <coughs> and a good aim keeps the scrap and your supply to its crap. Recycler here. Construction <coughs> started. Made quite apparent they're making Building for the lead. Badger here. Going for the tent for the goddamn. Uh, sorry. You're the boss. They're making quite apparent that they're going directly for. Recycler here. <coughs> started. As I was saying, they made it quite apparent that they're going for the key elements. Building complete. Nine. Badger here. You're the boss. Recycler here. Construction started. My recon indicates that an overwhelming Soviet strike force has just landed to the north and to the west. I'm ordering a full evacuation of Eagle's Nest 1. Repeat, we are pulling out of Eagle's uh, Nest 1. Full evacuation. <coughs> God damn it. Commander, all of our key personnel have reached transports 1 and 2. Disregard all previous orders and escort these two transports to the north launch pad. Recycler here. Uh, pack up. Moving out. <laughs> what the fuck is this, this, this thing doing? Let's just go on with it. The goddamn commies are coming. Piece of Where's shit. The power? Get on with it! Ugh. Large parts over there, you dumb fuck. Get on with it. Go, oh my god. <laughs> Razor here. Protecting. Yes, sir. Protecting the flock. Oh, I don't think so, Dick. Take up a position in front of the transports <coughs> and look out for Soviet blockades. Yeah. Gotta demo this son of a bitch. There we go. <coughs> well then. They're attacking us with turrets. I'm quite surprised. They're, <coughs> they're doing so. Under attack. Yeah. <coughs> they're going for the base, that's for sure. 
<coughs> they're trying to keep us from ever reaching that never hallucination. I'll take care of this one. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm out of bullets. Fighting enemy. Let me at him. You should have gone at them for quite a. I don't have any ammo. Under attack. Control two. Yes, sir. Control three. Launch pad. Nice job, Christopher. Now get to the launch pad. That's what I'm doing. Well done, Commander. Attention, all NSDF forces. Oh shit. We have successfully <coughs> evacuated all ground personnel. <coughs> However, we have lost Eagle's Nest 1 to the Soviets. Yeah, those Democrats. We underestimated the Soviets' strength. <coughs> and we underestimated their commitment to controlling the biomass. <coughs> yeah, those filthy Democrats. Now their intentions pay. are clear. <coughs> if it's a war they want, and it's a war they shall get. Right. Relocating to Mars, where we will reassert our standing as the world's greatest superpower. We must fight back against these liberals and their high taxes on everything. And they're progressive and all their bullshit too. God, I hate that. <coughs> mission accomplished. Well, how's that for our first uh, for our first mission, eh? <coughs> <coughs> but why not? We'll we'll keep on going as time goes on. I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. And I look forward to the next one. So hope to see you guys next time. And until then, and of course I have to do it the old-fashioned way, cause Shadow Player really loves taking his time, doesn't it?